Good Friday morning, SJSH, and here are your Friday morning announcements. First, I have some birthdays to announce. On the 12th, we had Raina. Happy birthday, Raina. And on the 13th this week, it was Chelsea. Happy birthday, Chelsea. And then we have, on the 16th, we have Jade Little and Tyson Stoyle. So happy birthday to both of you. And then going into next week, GSOP, your birthday's on the 21st. And so is Dominic, your birthday's on the 21st. And Beth, your birthday is on the 21st. We have a lot of birthdays on January the 21st. And then we have Rohan next week on the 22nd. Happy birthday. And at the very end of the month, we have Ava Little. Happy birthday. So to all my January babies, Raina, Chelsea, Jade, Tyson, Jisup, Dominic, Beth, Rohan, and Ava, I hope you all have a lovely birthday. Next, I have some shout outs to give. Now, now that we're back into um, online learning and I have so many shout outs, it's amazing. All right, here we go. The first shout out comes from Miss Young, our kindergarten teacher. And she says she wants to give a shout out to her whole class. She had a Zoom hangout meeting and it went really well. Um, a lot of her class came, they stayed on for about 30 minutes. She got to see them, everybody got to talk. Um, she said it's she said they're so young, but they're just thriving and learning and pushing through this crazy time with little to no online experience They're doing an amazing job. Have a great day And I want to give a shout out to miss young if you are on the parent Facebook group I posted an example of one of her videos that she sends out to the students on a regular basis and they are so amazing I told her I said I'm gonna have to up my YouTube game because she definitely she definitely is doing a far superior job than I am the next shout out comes from Miss Gerber. She would like to give a shout out as well to her entire grade three, four class. She says for working so hard online, you show up prepared for class and you're ready to learn every day. And specifically, she wants to give a shout out to Talon for helping his peers. Talon has been helping his classmates figuring out Zoom. So she says, thank you so much, Talon. Oh, I love hearing that. Way to go, Talon. My next shout out comes from Miss Wheelblower and it says she'd like to give a shout out to Chloe, Tristan, Christian, and Ethan, who actively participate in each Zoom meeting more than once per Zoom class. Each of these students arrived to class on time, signing in using the Zoom invitation, and she says thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you so much, you, you guys. All right, the next shout out comes from Miss Brown. She would like to give a shout out to Shahad. She has been such a great help for everyone by helping them get adjusted to the way that she has been doing things since the start of the school year. I know she's excited to be back in Canada and I can't wait to see her what her hard work and positive attitude looks like in the classroom. She always puts a 100% into her work and she shows Scholar of the Month behavior on a daily basis. Shahad, I continue to be so amazed by you working so hard when you were overseas and now that you're in Canada, even though you can't join in physically anymore, no one can, you're still being amazing. Shahad, thank you so much. The next shout out comes from Mrs. Farrell. She wants to give a shout out to her whole class for adjusting so well after the holidays. They have been focused and working hard as well as showing great teamwork. Way to go, Zach, Christopher, Leon, Amar, and Reed. Yay, that's so amazing, boys. The next shout out comes from Miss Butcher. And she actually wants to give a shout out to Sensei Gore. She says he has done an amazing job with the Karate Kids and has continued challenging and fun training with sessions. He, his lead by example style of teaching motivates his students and they work hard to impress him. She also wants to give a shout out to the Monday Karate Group. Great work for continuing to work on your karate skills and organizing yourselves as a group when Sensei's internet does happen to drop. You have clearly shown great work ethic and your Sensei has taught you well. Oh, I love those shout outs. Thank you to the karate groups and to Mr. Gore the Sensei. The next shout out comes from Ms. Taurus. She too wants to give a shout out to her whole class for trying their very best online. Even though they've been through an enormous change, I am inspired by their willingness to adapt. They are waiting their turn to talk on Zoom. They are being respectful when I have to help others in class. She says, way to go, room two, uh, room two, three. Yay! I'm so proud of Miss Towers' class. Way to go. All right, the next one comes from Mr. Peckham. 
And he says, again, it's the whole class. The members of room 17, the students in class have had a positive attitude and have been very flexible. Over the last two weeks, they have worked extremely hard and supported each other every step along the way. I am very proud of all their hard work and effort from Mr. Peckham. Oh, that's amazing. Way to go, room 17. And the last shout out comes from Mr. DeMarco. He has a number of them. So his first shout out goes to Callie. Um, he says, everyone knows how personable, fun, and energetic Callie is. However, did she know she's also a songwriter? A shout out to Callie who dropped her latest single called No Angel on our grade 11 English Zoom call this week. In class, we were working on being more vulnerable and opening up our writing and Callie took this to another level by sharing a very personal song with the whole class. Can you say Grammys five times fast? <laughs> Way to go, Callie, I love it. His next shout out goes to Matthew Gerard. A big shout out to Matthew for making the absolute most out of online school. So far this year, Matt has entered the Zoom meeting room every morning by 8 a.m. so that he has at least 15 minutes to connect with the teacher and fellow students and prepare for the day ahead. Some things never change. And whether it is in person or online, Matt is the early bird and he always gets the worm. I love it. Thank you, Matt. The next shout outs he would like to give aren't students of his, but there are other students. So he wants to give a shout out to Chelsea and Matthew, both in Mr. Peckham's class. He says a shout out to Chelsea and Matt for their overwhelming generosity this past weeks. For Mr. Peckham's birthday, Matt bought the entire class and I pizza, Mr. DeMarco, not me. There was enough pizza for everyone to have three slices. One week later and I'm still full. In the same vein, Chelsea bought everyone cupcakes on her birthday. Most teenage youth would be expecting people to bring them gifts on their birthday. However, not the case with Chelsea. She is spreading joy. Um, she's spreading joy. That is the true Scholars Hall spirit right there. So thank you, Chelsea and Matt, I love those. And the last one that Mr. DeMarco wants to give a shout out to is Charles. Says shout out to Charles for having a great attitude 24 seven. Charles took a principle he learned from his English writing class about how to revise your work and was an intentional about applying it to a homework assignment in the next uh, another class. Not only this, but he was excited to do it. I always say attitude is a difference maker and Charles is starting the new year off with an attitude bang. That's amazing. And again, I wanna give a shout out to Mr. DeMarco. I absolutely love reading his shout outs. They're so entertaining and exciting. So thank you, Mr. DeMarco as well. All right, the next is my pizza day draw. So again, every Friday when we are doing online learning, um, I will be drawing names uh, for students to get some free pizza on us and have lunch on SJSH. Um, this week, actually, Miss uh, Wilson draw, uh, drew the names. So here are the names of the people who are going to be contacted to get free pizza delivered by us um, today. The first person is Christopher Gorenson. Congratulations, Christopher, you're getting pizza today. Miss Wilson will be calling you shortly to find out what you would like on your pizza. The next person that won is Pearson Allerton. Yay, Pearson, you and your Allerton brothers get pizza today. Miss Wilson will be calling you shortly to see what you would like. The next family that has won is Charlotte Braha. You have won pizza today. So congratulations, Charlotte. Miss Wilson will be contacting you as well very soon to see what you would like on your pizza. And then we have Aurelia Newman. You have one as well. Congratulations, pizza's coming your way. Miss Wilson will call you shortly. And the very last person who won today was Kiefer Wu. Congratulations, Kiefer. Miss Wilson will be calling you very shortly to see what you would like on your pizza. All right, the very last thing that I have is just a small reminder uh, for parents. Please, if you can avoid it, um, I'm asking that you do not have your child do their Zoom meetings in their bedrooms. It is too tempting for them to sit on their bed, to lay down, to lounge out. We would really like them to be sitting at a desk or sitting upright doing their um, Zoom meetings. And when we're at, when we're in our own homes and they're at their homes, it's really hard for us. And we, you know, there's some teachers saying, "Please sit up," or move to a desk. So parents, if you can help us, please do um, ask your child to work from the kitchen table, dining room table. If you have a home office, that would be wonderful. Um, even if they have a desk in their room, that would be preferred. But we are asking that no beds, no bedrooms. I would really appreciate that very, very much. 
I think that's it for now. I hope you have a lovely Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week, SGSH. Bye for now.